Alrighty, welcome back to GM Outdoors. Hope everybody had a great week this week and uh, stayed safe. And so, where are we at and what are we doing? Well, we are in Appalachia this evening and we are on an old coal mining uh, property. And uh, we're going to be taking the truck camper here on its maiden voyage and doing some stealth camping back in the back of it. And uh, built me a setup back yonder, and uh, we'll check it out here in a few minutes. But it ain't nothing, nothing, nothing to write home about. But it's it'll do. So uh, I had a few leaks around this old uh, lat or hatch back here. Uh, put some new weather stripping in there. Hopefully I got it. Hopefully I got it fixed for the most part because it's supposed to come a supposed to come a thunderstorm tonight. It's been raining all day. Uh, man, it's cold out here. It's supposed to get down to 26 or 7 tonight, and right now. It, it's probably 45 right now or 40 right now. That wind's blowing what's cutting right through you. So uh, come along with me here and we'll get started. And I'll show you my new uh, my crib. <laughs> All right, so what we got in here anyway? So I've got my mattress, got me a bed skirt here, made out of some curtains, uh, stapled to this uh, plywood. I got this frame built out of two by sixes and um, quarter inch plywood, two by sixes frame. Got my grill up under there. You see it here? Got a little grill under there. Uh, water, propane, got my cooler, uh, cooking supply stuff in here. Um, got my Mr. Buddy heater sitting over here. I can't really see it there. Mattress, nice bean bag chair back here. Uh, pillow, sleeping bag. And these windows got the screens in them. I can open it up, you know. Uh, got some lights up in the top back there. I'm seeing a little white little puck looking deals up there in the top so you can touch them when they come on so it ain't much but heck it'll do just fine for me all righty so that was a tour uh i know it was a big long drawn out process for you <laughs> so, had a lot to show you so uh anyhow i am starving to death we're running out of daylight and i'm gonna get this grill started up and we're gonna eat us some steak and potatoes and carrots and some broccoli and stuff some little freezer bag thing full of stuff and then we're gonna have some steak in that so Anyhow, let's get this grill out and start cooking while there's still daylight left. This is just an old Coleman grill. Got it off Amazon a long time ago. We've had it forever and used it plenty of times. It's always been a good one. And it fits perfect. fits perfect up underneath that bed thing I made there. So that worked out all right. Let's get this grill turned on here. It's cold out here. There it goes. Feels good on my hands there. Man, oh man, ain't nothing like a grill and some meat on it. Always smells so good. You can smell that from blocks around, man. But anyway, I've got some of this old uh, roasted potato blend. Yeah, I'm just going to throw them in a skillet here and heat them up. Man, that smells good. And that's just gonna be good. stuff right there. Let's 
truck camping things all right. <laughs> I get used to this. Oh, Lord, that stuff sure smells good, don't it? Can't wait to eat it. The steak's looking good. Uh, anyhow, while this is cooking, I just want to stop and say thank you all so, so, so very much for watching this channel and subscribing to it and leaving these likes and comments. Each and every one of you means means the whole world to me and I can't thank you all enough. I am now at 419 subscribers, which is just, <laughs> just crazy to me, you know, just crazy. People get on there and tell me how, you know, that I'm doing a great job. They love my videos, that I made their week, you know, that, you know, they worked a long shift at work and this is just what they needed to come home and watch me. You know, I just think that that is just crazy to me. Crazy, crazy. Uh, Cause I'm just an old dude out here, just a regular guy who comes out here on his spare time and, and does some does some camping and some cooking or something here and uh, just just crazy you know I never would imagine somebody would enjoy watching what I do but uh, anyhow 419 guys that is amazing amazing so I bet you can take a guess what I'm gonna say my new goal is gonna be 500 so <laughs> I never thought I'd make it past 50 you know I, th I thought 50 would be a huge stretch you know but uh, but I'm just going to keep on doing what I'm doing here and hopefully I can get some more subscribers and this channel will grow and just become something that's that's awesome. Uh, but I'm having a blast making it. I love, love, love hearing from each and every one of y'all and uh, just what fun I have doing this. Just It makes my day when people leave me comments on there and tell me something positive. You know, I just, I love hearing it. I love hearing from y'all. Uh, if you want to reach out to me, uh, gmoutdoors92 at gmail.com. You know, it's just a... It's a great way to get a hold of them. If you want to talk to me, send me a picture. Just do whatever you want to, you know. So, uh, anyhow, uh, I'll keep cooking this stuff here. And it's almost done, I believe. Well, time for me to flip it anyway. But, uh, anyway, just want to say thank you all so much. And I greatly appreciate everything you all do for me on there. So, thank you all. Bring out the fine china for this. <laughs> oh, alrighty. This food is delicious. I am so happy about it. it turned out great. Uh, can't beat steak and potatoes and corn and peas, carrots, but. Uh, I'm loving this camper show already. This is awesome. This is absolutely awesome. I didn't have to hike a country mile, and I found me a sweet spot back here. Nobody around, really. And uh, there's a road that goes around through here, but nobody can really see down in here. I mean, I guess if you were looking for a truck down here, you could see it going across that bridge, but um, I don't think the people are going to pay that much attention to me down here. Um, anyhow, uh, yeah, this wasn't my first pick. My first pick, you know, I, I found a place on Google Earth, and I was like, man, I'm going to check that out. Uh, and uh, you get there, and it, <laughs> Google Earth sandwich is about 10 years behind, about 10 years behind what, what it really is when you get there, and you're like, man, I can't camp there, that's for sure. So I had a plan B, and um, on my way to the plan B area there, I found this place, and I was like, man, this is perfect, because I... I was like, there's got to be a gate to this where it used to be a coal, had a coal uh, company used to own this here. Or does still probably own it, but I was like, there's got to be a gate on this. So I come around this turn, went on down here, and I was like, oh, there's no gate. It's awesome. So I drove around a little bit down in here, and I found this spot. I was like, heck yeah, this is where I'm going to be at. So it just worked out perfect for me. Uh, anyways, I am loving this camper shell. I can definitely get used to this. This is all right right here. Got the comforts of home, kind of. Got the enclosure, you know. And it's nice. So I'm really excited about getting in there tonight. Staying in there all night. It'll be good. I hope I got all them leaks fixed. It's supposed to be it's supposed to rain all night. It's supposed to be really cold and rainy and windy. So hopefully I got all them leaks fixed. Funny story, actually. Uh, I was working on the. It's about eight thirty, nine o'clock at night or something. And I was working on the uh, on the weather stripping on this, and. Um, it had rained all day long, and I was hoping that it would keep raining a little bit longer so I could pull my truck out there and sit in the back of it and make sure there's no leaks. Well, as soon as I get done, what you know, it's the rain quits. 
just quit. And I was like, dang on it. So it was, like I said, it was about nine o'clock at night and I hollered for my wife. I said, hey, honey, uh, come out here and help me with this. I need your help for a minute. She goes, well, what is it? You know, and I said, hey, I need you to hold this water hose here and put it on shower, on shower mode and, and, and spray, <laughs> spray so I'm going to spray the, spray the back of the truck like it's raining and I'm going to get in here. So now she stood out there for about 10, 15 minutes spraying, <laughs> spraying that water hose on the back of the glass and just shaking her head. You know, it had just poured the rain and people were driving by the house looking up there because I had that, my motion light was on. So she was standing, it looked like she was just standing out in the yard with the water hose, you know, spraying it in the middle of the night there while people were, <laughs> just after it rained. So it was just funny. <laughs> but anyhow, uh, if you're wondering what this is, a little bump or scab or whatever, on that hike, that day hike I was on, up at Mendo the fire tower there. Uh, I, was, I was walking on the way back down uh, to the truck there and I turned around and looked back and when I did, I run plumb into a tree branch or something. And it caught me up in the face, it hurt. It, <laughs> it didn't feel too good, but it was a lot worse looking than that. But anyways, that was a that was a beautiful day right there. I wish it was as warm that day as it, I wish it was as warm today as it was that day. That'd be perfect. But. I'll tell you, this is all right. As soon as that grill gets cooled down, I get done eating here. I'm going to climb it back here. Cut that Mr. Buddy heater on there. and uh, Can you see it now? Yeah. Climb in the back here and cut that on. That ought to heat me up real quick. Because uh, I'll probably have to cut it on for a little bit and cut it back off. Because it's probably going to get way too hot in there. But I'd rather be too hot and too cold, I guess. This is really good. So, we'll sit here and enjoy the view here, this mountainside. Get done eating here and start putting this stuff up and get back in the back here. Start warming up.
all righty so this is all right right here uh cut my lights on here <laughs> that's all right ain't it yeah yeah, you can see me good now, but uh, anyhow, I got this beanbag chair. It's got arms actually built into it. It's uh, super, super comfy in here. We've got it from Walmart years ago. It's called a Big Joe, Big Joe beanbag chair, and uh, I bought two of them a long time ago. We used to take them to the uh, the drive-in movies. We'd go to a drive-in and back a truck up and put put both of them back here and sit back and watch a movie. You know, that's why we bought them a few years back. And uh, never thought I'd be sitting in a in a camper shell. You know, filming YouTube and what I can tell you that right now. So, uh, <laughs> anyhow, it's cold in here and I'm going to get this Mr. Buddy heater going. So, we'll see how that works out. Get this away out of the way up there. Alrighty, so I think this is a pretty sweet setup here, really. Uh, I'm really tickled to death with it. Uh, it turned out great. This Mr. Buddy heater is working like a champ. Like I knew it would. I've, I've had them forever. We've used them in tents. Uh, heck, I've used them in whole rooms before. You know, uh, they, they'll heat really, really good. Um, it's keeping me good and warm right now. I've got the windows already fogged up. Uh, about this, uh, also got a carbon monoxide alarm in here because uh, I don't want to take a chance on waking up dead in the morning. So, <laughs> uh, anyhow, I'm going to sit here, kick back, and relax. and uh, is all right right here uh i could get used to this truck camping business this is this is nice uh i wish i'd had this thing done for my uh, pennsylvania trip i'd have definitely stayed in this thing instead of a hotel uh a couple of them guys uh guy on one of my subscribers on there was saying can't believe you stayed in a hotel you should have stealth camped you know and i was like well you know i was crunched for time it gets dark at like 5 30 now and uh i didn't know where i was i never been up that way before you know so i didn't want to take a chance on not having something not having somewhere to stay, I'd been a mess right there, but, uh, anyhow, uh, oh, man, it feels good in here, good and toasty, I think, uh, I think it's like 37 outside right now, uh, that wind started blowing like crazy, I said that storm won't be happening here for too long, uh, which, uh, I know I got this, this, this is, this window slides, you know, it's just got a screen in it, so if it starts raining, I done thought ahead, uh, if it starts raining, I'll close it, and I got me a two by six piece of wood that I uh, cut out, um, and I can put it between the tailgate and the uh, the hatch back there. That way, I still get some ventilation in here, keep from you know it's Mr. Buddy heater to have it some ventilation, uh, and the rain will run off of it and won't come in. So that, unless the wind blows hard this way, I guess, but it would have to blow really hard. So uh, this is nice. This is all right right here. So I'm probably gonna kick back here and relax. Uh, Probably do some editing on this uh, on this uh, phone here. Do some editing on this video, and uh, I'll kick you back on here shortly. Really nice. <laughs> mm. Alrighty, so it's 5.15 right now. Sun's going down. Wind's blowing like crazy through here. Uh, it's already 32 degrees right now. This is this is cold. It, but I feel good and toasty in here, let me tell you. Uh, the winds are just now starting to unfog a little bit here and there. Uh, but anyways, uh, kick back here relaxing. Oh, if you're wondering what this... Uh, this velcro and stuff is uh i have cut out if they're underneath this bunk here um i've cut out uh reflectix like the stuff that you put in the windshield of your car to keep your dashboard from cracking and everything in the sun i've cut out reflectix uh to fit each side of this and i've velcroed the other part of the velcro to it 
And whenever I want to go to like a parking lot or somewhere where I don't want nobody seeing in here, I can stick those up there and you can't see nothing in here. I can have these lights on and everything and nobody can see a thing in here. So it's pretty awesome right there. Uh, I got that idea off of somebody else on YouTube I saw. Um, but this is a pretty nice setup. I'm really tickled with it. You know, I, of course, I you know, I like those one setups I see all the time where they'll have the big like six foot drawer that slides out underneath the, the bunk here. Slides way out and makes a kitchen, you know. Uh, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, but I really like this because I use my truck. You know, I use it as a truck. So I, I need need this room back here for things like uh, so I can I can take all this stuff out of here and five minutes nothing's bolted down nothing is uh attached to the truck at all and it doesn't slide anywhere because the grooves in the bed of the truck um i built the two by sixes down in those grooves so it's not attached but it can't slide this way and it, it can't slide anywhere it's cut to fit just this truck and um yeah it worked out great worked out absolutely fantastic so uh I can just pick that stuff up and take it out and put it in the garage and then I can go to Lowe's and get me some lumber or gravel or you know whatever I need to do. Uh, so I really like this setup. It's pretty nice. I, I can see myself I can see myself using this a lot and it's going to open me up to so much more winter camp and I couldn't have got this at a better time because I was you know it's going to get cold. It's going to be we get some cold weather here and it's going to be snowing really hard and and I can't wait to get up somewhere. Uh, like an old strip job or something, you know, like a, like mining somewhere, you know, that'd be, that'd be awesome. And have it come a hardcore snow somewhere. Uh, I'd really like to do that. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, this is awesome. I'm really digging this. I'm really, really digging it. So, but, uh, I feel like I got a little fireplace in here or something, you know, it's pretty nice. Yeah. Uh, it's really, really nice. So I'm going to sit here and relax some more and, uh, yeah, just kick back and do nothing. It's pretty nice. Uh, I appreciate y'all watching. Hope y'all enjoy. If you want to see, um, if you tell me, let me know in the comments. If you want to see more of this, uh, if you like the truck camping, uh, or the or the the hammock camping or the tent camping more, tell me what you want to see more, and I'll I'll, I'll do it. Uh, uh, cause I'm all about y'all, you know. Cause it, this channel, it, it's fun for me. I like just being outside, regardless. And uh, I want to keep making stuff that's entertaining to people, where people can sit back and relate to it and, and enjoy watching it, and uh. So, I mean, let me know what you would rather see. Uh, but as of right now, I'm, I'm really digging this truck camping. So, uh, so it's all right. So, anyhow, I'm going to kick back here and relax some more and uh, watch the sun go down. So, in case anybody was wondering, this is my, uh, my lock for now. I guess it's more of a, not necessarily a lock, it's more of a slowdown. So that way I can be alert to somebody trying to get in here. They'll pull that thing up and you know, let them go up so far if they're unlocking it. Alrighty, y'all. So I'm laying here in the bed now. I got the heater still going. Feels real good and toasty in here. I had to get outside there a few minutes ago and use the bathroom. And I tell you, man, it is so cold. It is iceberg cold outside right now. Uh, and that wind is howling. Uh, I tell you, it's cold, cold. Um, but this, this camper shell is going to spoil me, I reckon. Uh, I love it. I love this thing. But uh, I don't have my thermals on. I don't have a, a blanket on or nothing. I'm just going to lay here in this hoodie and my, my pants. And uh, and I am comfortable. So, uh, anyhow, I'm going to go on to bed. And I will see y'all first thing in the morning. So, good night, y'all. Let me, let me cut the light off for you. <laughs> good night, y'all. Alrighty, good morning, y'all. Uh, oh, slept really good last night. Really, really good. Stayed good and warm in here. Uh, I had to change that tank out at about three, three o'clock, three thirty, or something like that. Uh, I think when them green tanks are good for like, if I remember, it's like six to eight hours or something. Um, so that one tank was about three quarters of the way full, and it lasted till about three o'clock in the morning or so. So it, it was a pretty good time. So I put a new one on it. And uh, it's still going. And it feels really good in here. Uh, 
got some frost on the windows uh last night so it is cold outside i know it is um right now it's about time is it 7.05 right now so i'm gonna go ahead and get up here and uh oh make me some coffee or something and uh get on out of here so let's get up and get some coffee going Oh, it is cold out here. <laughs> Golly. Get my shoes on here. Phew. It's probably in the 20s right now. I'm going to like to drink some of this coffee. Golly, it's guys cold out here this morning. It is cold this morning. I'd say it's probably, I'd say it's probably 24 degrees out here this morning. But, uh, at least that wind ain't blowing like it was yesterday. So, so anyhow, I cannot wait, cannot wait, drink to drink this coffee here. This is uh, that coffee that Tony drinks all the time. He gave it to me while, we, while I was up there in Pennsylvania, and I have been wanting to try this stuff forever since I saw him drink it on his very first video. Uh, yeah, Sizzle Cafe. I'm super excited to, to, to drink it. Uh, can't hardly wait to get this water boiling and, and try this out. I've been waiting. I told him. I told him. I said, next time I go camping, I'm going to I'm going to record it. So uh, that's what we're going to do here in just a few minutes. So I'm excited. They say it's just, said it's really good. It's really good, and it's good for you too. So uh, so we're going to try it out here shortly. Get turned off there. Alrighty, y'all. Moment of truth. Right here it comes. Been waiting on it for a while now. Mm. Man, that is good. Wow, that's some good coffee right there. It ain't bitter or nothing. He was right on the money on this. And this is... Wow, that's good. And it's supposed to be good for you, too. Usually, if it tastes good, it's not very good for you. <laughs> mm. Man, that's really good coffee right there. Sizzle Cafe, uh, yeah, it's great. Good job, Tony, man. I appreciate the heads up on this. This is some good stuff. Man, it is really good. Anyhow, good on a cold morning like this, too. I'm freezing to death. It's got to be low 20s right now. But uh, I feel like it's starting to spit some snow here, really. I keep seeing... I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but it's doing something. Uh... Whew. But anyhow, I'm gonna get everything closed up here and put back in its uh, back in its place there. Real easy break down to camp this morning. Uh, I could get used to this truck camping, man. I stayed good and warm all night. 
comfortable had an actual mattress you know it was it was awesome it was really nice uh good and cozy in there real comfortable slept like a baby all didn't even wake up just to just to change that gas tank that propane tank out on that heater but uh i'm gonna finish this coffee up here get everything put up and head on out of here so uh i sure do appreciate y'all coming along with me hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for the next one appreciate y'all thank you